up you guys chase the dark sage here we are back with another manga haul now this manga haul right here was long awaited highly anticipated and i just wasn't patient at all for this bad boy because this right here took a ridiculous amount of time to actually get to me now if you don't know what i'm talking to i'm referring to my in stock trades manga haul if you guys remember to come shop with the boy episode where i went on in stock trades we went on the website we shopped for some manga i bought some manga i made my final purchase i got to show you guys the shopping experience and how much my total came out and just to see the prices that are kind of around manga for in stock trades and in that video i just wanted to showcase you a whole process of ordering it and obviously i wanted to make a sequel video to show you the process of getting the actual package but i didn't really think that this video would come this late after me making that order but before we get into the video before we get into the subject at hand i gotta say shout out to my patreon pledges we're going ahead and financially support the channel i gotta say i highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me over there on patreon holding down i gotta say you guys deserve the biggest dark sage hug that i can give you and if you are interested in the patreon go ahead and check the links in the description down below for the patreon when you do pledge the patreon you do get early access to my videos as soon as i get done editing them so if you want early access to those bad boys go ahead and pledge to the patreon it's pretty cheap it ranges from one dollar to five dollar you guys can check that out yourself down the patreon link in the description down below secondly i gotta give a shout out to broke boy gang aka notification squad because they already saw the title of this video they already knew it was about to go down they knew the boy dark sage wasn't too happy but they know that i still gotta serve them up that fire content when it comes to this manga stuff you get what i'm saying but they already probably clicked the like button while the ad was going and they probably already commented broke boy gang in the comments down below you know you guys I love y'all. But if you're not part of Robot Gang and you want to be a part of it, go ahead and do yourself a favor right now. Do me a favor as well, too. Hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell. They're right next to each other. They go hand in hand. Also, I'm going to need everybody to go ahead and like the video and share the video. Free support on your end helps me out a lot on my end. And lastly, guys, if you want to follow me on all my other social medias, all my links will be in the description down below. All these little icons that you see right here, I have all those socials in the links in the description down below. So... Let's go ahead and talk about in stock trades, talk about this whole endeavor that has happened. And let's see if my manga came nice and right. Now guys, if you remember from my Come Shop With The Boy episode, I actually shopped for this manga and made my final purchasing decision on March 23rd in that Come Shop With The Boy episode. And from then, I thought that honestly, I was gonna get the package within two weeks because the first time I ordered from InStock Trades, it actually took literally two weeks for me to actually put my order in and for it to actually get to me. You guys can check that video out in the description down below, or I'll probably have an annotation card depending on what my orientation is right now. But yes, I have actually ordered from InStock Trades previously before, and it did not take nearly as long as it did this time around because it only took two weeks and the prices was pretty good for it. So you know what? I was like, yo, I'm kind of patient. In a pretty good deal, I can wait. But this time, honestly, they did have some good deals. They had some really nice prices, but it took a super long while for it to actually get to me. Now, I actually have all the dates and stuff that happened in the time of me actually making the order to when I actually got this, which is actually May 10th. The day I got this order was May 10th. That way you guys know that I ordered this bad boy on March 23rd, and it got here May 10th. You gotta love in stock trades. Now, I'm not trying to make this video a this video just all about in stock trades saying you should never shop with them again. Those people have horrible service. I'm not trying to do that, guys. Trust me, I'm not trying to bash in stock trades because while they did take a long time with this package right here, honestly, for the price that I got it at, still wasn't acceptable. I'm not gonna lie to you, it still was not acceptable. Y'all thought I was gonna say it was cool. No, I did not like that. I am very impatient. As a collector, you guys know that you get impatient as well. And honestly, I kept seeing all this manga, all these volumes in store, and it just made my collection look so ugly because I had to buy volumes around all these volumes that I bought on InStock Trades. But I had to do it. I had to keep track of all the volumes I bought on InStock Trades. I had to buy around them whenever I went to go out manga hunting, even though I saw these manga volumes in store, ready for me to buy them. But I was like, nope, I made the order on Unstuck Trades. Let me wait for that order. <laughs> but yes, this bad boy took a super long while. Let's actually go into my notes app and let me go ahead and give you all the details of everything that has happened since I ordered to today. All right, guys, now that I've switched to my computer to show you my Evernote with all the listed dates and detailing of this whole arc slash saga of the in stock trades package let me go ahead and show you everything on march 23rd just like in the video i made the order that day at 11 23 a.m cst you know i like to keep the times because i like to be a very particular character you get what i'm saying but on april 13th my order was marked ship 
but really said this, shipping label created USPS awaiting item. So that means that, you know, Inside like Trade is about to, you know, give them the item so that way they can ship it out to your boy. But on April 21st, I had to email them because what I thought was completely wrong. Let me go ahead and read to you the email. Hello, my name is Chase and I made an order with y'all on March 23rd. Recently, my item was marked at ship on April 13th and it has been past seven days since it has been marked ship, but USPS has said they have not received my items from y'all to actually move the shipment. My order number is, obviously I blurred it out for, you know, purposes, so that way ain't nobody messing with my order numbers. But basically I had to give them the order number in that email because I already knew if they was taking a long time to ship my item, I knew they was gonna take a long time to email me back. So you know I had to email them and I had to get my order situation stuff straight. So they emailed me back on April 26th and this is what they had to say. Hello, this order was picked up by the USPS at our warehouse on 4 13th, April 13th. However, they had not yet scanned it into their system to begin the delivery process. This issue has become increasingly prevalent this past month, so we've opened a full investigation into the local USPS due to the amount of packages they've been holding. Since the investigation has started, many stalled orders have begun the process, so we are confident in the next several days we will see the remainder of the orders begin updating in their tracking information. Thank you for your business. We appreciate it. And obviously, they said thanks to whoever the you know the associate was that actually helped me but like i said this was on april 26th when they emailed me back from when i emailed them on april 21st so i obviously waited those several days like they said and guess what nothing has updated since then so on may 6th i emailed them again dear to whoever this may concern well, you know whoever says dear to whoever this may concern they want all the smoke and that day i really wanted all the smoke i'm not gonna lie to y'all i emailed you all on april 21st about my order gave them the order number being marked as shipped yet it has not moved at all my order was marked as shipped on april 13th and it has now almost been a month since and it has not moved yet i would like an update on the situation because honestly I was a little pissed then. I was like, yo, what are y'all doing with my order? What are y'all like tossing my order around playing soccer, hockey with it? I don't know what y'all doing. But on May 7th, they lucky because on May 7th, the package has appeared from a waiting item in Memphis, Tennessee, like how I was awaiting the item for USPS to get the item. Well, tell me why on May 7th it went from that to, oh, arrived at Dallas facility. So you telling me that it was in Tennessee, then just the night of, it just happened to be in Dallas? No update on the tracking or anything? It's all right, it's cool, it's cool, okay. But on May 10th, obviously today, is when I actually received the package. So, <sighs> let me go ahead and read the statement that they have on their website that I simply ignored because I really wasn't paying attention to it when I actually made the video. All right, guys, right now we are on the InStockTrades.com website, and this site should look familiar if you've seen the Come Shop With The Boy episode where I actually shop for manga on this website, which this video serves a sequel to, like I said earlier. But right here, you can see right here on the website, it says InStock Trades New Releases Alert and Delay Notice. So obviously, you got to click on that. And then right here, it says Order Delay Notice. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I am going to read a good amount of it. Our warehouse is currently behind on processing orders due to a couple of reasons. We have had many large releases in the last few months that have caused our processing times to slow down hiring and retaining new staff members is an ongoing struggle plus on top of that we have employees missing work due to illnesses and you know certain situations which adds to our order processing delays the staff that we do have are doing everything in their power to process orders as quickly as they can we are very thankful for them okay okay you guys make do with that information that you want they put it out here on their website can't really be mad at that but two months two months i'm just saying i'm just saying let me go to actually showing you the package showing you the contents and all that type of stuff before i get angry all over again all right guys now that we got those small little details out the way let me go ahead and actually show you the package yeah pause big pause let me go ahead and show you this box that all my manga has came in and honestly look how big it is look how big this box is compared to my head like yo this is a huge box my guy and look at oh my god i hit myself in the face but look at this right here this is a huge box full of manga i did order a good amount i also ordered some comic books which was the scott pilgrim uh color editions of the new omnibus like versions that they have for scott pilgrim if you guys do not know scott pilgrim is one of my favorite movies of all time so there's not just anime stuff in here 
I mean, most of it's anime stuff. It's only two Scott Pilgrim things and the rest of it's anime manga. But yeah, let's go ahead and actually open this package up right here. And look at the way that they got this bad boy tape. It took a little bit of force for me to actually get this box cut it through because oh my gosh but yeah this box is huge <laughs> let's go ahead and open this up and like i said before guys if you want to check out the video where i actually ordered from in stock trays you go ahead and check that out and link in the description down below but yeah when you first open it up the first thing that you see is all this little oh uh, let me oh I forgot they put your order confirmation on top of your actual packaging. But right here, just to cover it up kind of, right here you see all the packaging from all these little styrofoam peanuts or whatever they call these. But yeah, you got all this stuff right here. And let's go ahead and get it actually off of right now. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Right here is the first few of the order right here. And honestly, this is this is not my whole order, even though it has an order confirmation right here. But yeah, we have the Scott Pilgrim volumes two and three right here. We also have a manga volume right here too. It's actually a uh, Rent a Girlfriend volume five. I'm gonna take all this out and show you guys the condition and everything. But right now, I'm trying to take everything out the box, and it's just a lot. Like, look. <laughs> That was on top of this. There's way more packaging. So my thing with Inside Trades is they package well. They package greatly. You don't have to worry about the condition that your manga is coming in. Because they're going to come in great. And the plastic and everything. And right here we have even more manga. Which is uh, surrounded by plastic as well. <laughs> Get all this. Oh my god. There's so much less right now. <laughs> Right here, we have more manga volumes right here with the volume four of Spy X Family. A lot of you guys ask me if I read Spy X Family. Yes, I do read Spy X Family. I think I am about one to two chapters actually behind. We got One Punch Man volumes 14, 17. We also have Mob Psycho volume six and Mob Psycho 100 Reagan right here. And we have Mob, I mean, not Mob Psycho, One Punch Man volume 16 right here as well. And this is the condition that the manga has come in so far. It is pretty clean and it is pretty good, I think, honestly. Still got more packaging. Let's go ahead and go through this packaging real quick. This should be the last bit of my order. There's a lot of packaging in here. If I was like selling somebody a whole set of manga, this would be the perfect box and all the perfect packaging I need for it. But right here, I believe is the last order. I don't know why no, no. Like, Trace did this. Like, look at the way that this manga came in. Like, look how bent this is. I know Rent a Girlfriend is a different type of volume size than regular uh, Viz media uh, volumes. But y'all don't have to bend my my run a girlfriend like that. I, look, I know Cosmo or Kazuya. I get his name confused with the guy from Konosuba. I know he's a scrub, but you ain't got to treat me like I'm a scrub either. But right here, we got volumes 21, 19, and 18 of One Punch Man. We have volume 2 of Spy X Family. We have Dead Man Wonderland, volume 4, and Run a Girlfriend, volume 4, which is all bent up like this. I really don't like the fact that in stock trades why why'd you do that like why would you do that like this is supposed to be kind of like a collector's piece it's a book i don't want it to be pre-bent before i get to reading it if anyone's gonna put bends in these i'm gonna be doing it not y'all but yeah this is it i believe let me go ahead and actually rummage around this thing and no there's nothing else in here just a whole bunch of peanuts but guys like i said you ain't gotta worry about packaging they package it real nice you know what that might have been what the one and a half month wait was for all the peanuts that they had to supply for this package, right? Oh my gosh, it makes so much sense now. It makes so much. It wasn't them actually getting the manga that was already in their warehouse because all this was out of stock. None of this was out of stock at all. So it had to be the peanuts that was out of stock. They had to wait to order more. That way they could actually get the package. Oh. Why didn't I think about that? I'm so stupid sometimes. But yes, guys, I am serious. All the manga that I ordered in that video, you can actually see it on the video itself. I ordered all the stuff that was in stock. And it took about one and a half months, about dang near two months to actually get to me, which is kind of sad. But like we already read in the disclaimer, they do have their own issues that they got to worry about internally and things like that. So the main question is, am I impressed with my manga haul right here? Well, I mean, all my stuff came... I guess undamaged except for this bent up volume of rent a girlfriend i don't know even if i wanted to send it back it'd probably take them a million years for them to send me back a better copy of rent a girlfriend so i am not going to even try that i'm honestly happy it's probably gonna get flattened in my bookshelf anyways i don't really know but honestly i'm gonna take this stuff out of the packaging and i'm gonna show you guys the front covers and all that for all this money that i bought and while I have the order confirmation in hand, I wanted to remind you guys that this total was $149.68. But before tax, before the shipping tax and all that type of stuff, even though I got free shipping, the subtotal was $138.27. And I believe I got 15 volumes of manga and comics. First up, we have Rent a Girlfriend Volume 5 with Cheese Rule on the front. Volumes 2 and 3 of the Scott Pilgrim Color Editions, which I think are going to look so fire on the shelf, even though I don't have any room for them. Volumes 4 of Spy 
Kai X Family with that boy Bond on the front cover, Volume 16 of One Punch Man, Volume 14 and 17 of One Punch Man, Volume 6 and Mob Psycho 1 Reagan or Mob Psycho Reagan. I had to get this. I love One's creations when it comes to manga work. And with the last bit of the package, let's go ahead and finish it out right here. I got One Punch Man Volume 21. We also have One Punch Man Volume 19 as well. One Punch Man Volume 18 with Garu on the front cover. And ooh, he's such a bad boy in the manga. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but ooh, y'all need to read the manga. You see, Garu just be a beast. We also have Rent a Girlfriend Volume 4 with Best Girl on the front cover. Ruka, my girl. I'll talk to you later after this video. And Spy X Family Volume 2 with Anya on the front cover and Dead Man Wonderland Volume 4. But yeah, guys, that's about it for my whole in stock trades, manga collecting arc, and my manga collecting journey. Honestly, I am going to order from them. I know, guys. Just wait a second. I am going to order from them again when this whole situation, you get what I mean when I say that, this whole situation is ended and, you know, a lot of things are going to be looking better on later on. So I will order from Insta Trades again, just not anytime soon. Hopefully when this whole situation is over, they're better staffed, they're better equipped, and therefore I will then be ordering from them then. But for now, do not order from Insta Trades if you are not patient for your order. I've heard other horror stories about Insta Trades, but I won't speak those horror stories here. If you do have a horror story or if you do have good experiences from Insta Trades, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Don't be shy to talk to your boy or tell others or warn others about your experience with Insta Trades. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, go ahead, subscribe, hit the post notification bell, like the video, and share the content as well. I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.